potential service interruptions. Also, retailers are sounding the alarm on consumer spending. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophers has more on that and your other business headlines. Hi, Alexis. What are you watching today? A lot. It's a busy day in the yeah. business world today, Diane. So the union representing 340,000 UPS workers said its members voted to approve a new contract agreement with the shipping giant, averting a potentially crippling strike that could have shaken the economy and disrupted package deliveries for millions of businesses and households. The agreement ends months of tense negotiations Negotiations between the Teamsters and UPS. The Teamsters president says this contract sets a new standard for pay and benefits. And by the end of the new five-year contract, UPS says the average full-time driver will make about $170,000 a year in pay and benefits. The devastating wildfires in Hawaii caused up to $6 billion in economic losses. That's according to an analysis by the risk management firm Moody's RMS. The firm says about 75% of those losses will be covered by insurance, but the true cost of the deadliest U.S. wildfire in more than a century does not take into account the effects on Hawaii's gross domestic product, government spending on the response to the catastrophe, or the social cost of the fires. Moody says rebuilding will also be costly as inflation and Maui's remote location drive up prices. And some major retailers are flashing warning signs about consumer spending. Dick's Sporting Goods, Macy's, and Foot Locker all posting weaker than expected quarterly earnings this week and warning that a slowdown in consumer spending could hurt results for the rest of the year. Dick's adding that a rise in shoplifting at its stores ate into profits and Macy's is warning that more shoppers are now late on their credit card payments. And of course, Diane, those student loan repayments are starting up in the fall. That could also squeeze consumer spending. Yeah, all right, Alexis Christophers, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage,